2022 was a hell of a year. I moved away from California, halfway across the country to Texas. This year has been super fun, but also super chaotic. This is my first kind of stretch of time I got to spend um, really working on my craft again after having the store. I started really um, not enjoying what I was doing. This year I got to really dive in into making really custom stuff and actually pushing myself as an artist. Honestly, when I closed the shop down and I lost all passion and <laughs> excitement for doing leather work, um, having the shop, it was it was super not fun. It was just make stuff, keep the lights on. And now that I'm working from a private studio again, I get to actually sit down and really push myself. I get to experiment with, with projects. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> so with that being said, I actually have a ton of projects this year that were absolutely incredible like i it sucks because i felt like i almost lost a year of my development as an artist and a craftsman to having the shop but this year i definitely feel like i gained uh some of that back so with that being said um, being able to push myself i had a lot of really 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 fun projects this year and here is a list of my top 10 favorite projects uh, of the year we're gonna start with the projects that were the first projects of the year and watch uh as i go forward through the rest of the year um, I think you'll be able to kind of even tell um, a little bit of like refinement through my work as I go. It was just a blast doing art again, honestly. It was very like gratifying and I had a blast just being able to do art this year. One of the first projects of the year was this uh, weightlifting belt that I made for myself. This thing was super fun. Uh, when I made it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to double down on the roses and the skulls and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with this. This is what I want to do. And this was kind of that first project of the year that was like, here's the direction I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna run run with it as far as I can. But this was super, super fun to make. Then next we have this wedding set, which was really cool. Um, it's the shoes and the bouquet wrap and then a belt for the husband. This was super fun. This was actually my last order I ever did in California. So it's kind of got a, a special little spot in my heart. Plus just doing those shoes is always very, very, very tricky and it pushed the uh, pushed my abilities to the limits for sure. Next we have the <laughs> next we have these uh, show sheep shoes. Um, this is a longtime customer got these for uh, her sister's birthday. Her little sister does show sheep. I, I'm pretty sure she's in 4H. Uh, youth livestock showmanship is like a huge part of who I am and why I'm even involved in this Western stuff. Just from growing up showing all the animals that I showed, calves, pigs, sheep, uh, chickens, I've done rabbits, scabies, like I did my entire childhood was in 4-H. You name it, I did it. Okay, then <laughs> this next belt was uh, the one for Jesse Lynn. This was a, a really fun project. It's got the riff to uh, Sweet Home Alabama. This belt was super fun. Doing the whole solid white was definitely different. The cotton was different too. I was actually really fun to tool little cotton, little cotton sprouts on there. But yeah, the whole belt, you go read the read the music notes and you go boom, 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 It's pretty sick. A uh, really fun, creative out of the box project. Then these shoes, these shoes were a freaking blast, man. Like uh, this was when I was like, all right, I'm gonna double, double down <laughs> on this skull and rose shit right here. And um, these shoes turned out wild. Honestly, once I did these shoes, I don't remember what month, month it was. Maybe it was like August or something. Just the whole back end of the year was full of stuff like this, which I'm excited to do more of that stuff later. Next, we did these wedding shoes. These were really, really fun and pretty. Um, the reason why I put these on my list is that they're always very difficult to do. So I had fun making them and pushing myself. And then also too, they, they hold a little spot in my heart because I posted these out there and I they brought a lot of attention my way, so that was super cool. I really like how, how how pretty these are. I have this weird style of being able to do this kind of tough tough stuff, like with the roses and the skulls and stuff, and then able to do something really soft and delicate like this for uh, somebody's wedding, you know? Another one on the list for sure is gotta be the Miss Rodeo California notebook that I made her for the Miss Rodeo America pageant. Um, that was super, super fun. She ended up getting awards for her a scrapbook. Uh, I honestly just had a really fun time making this. Just all the, the flowers plastered all over it. Um, same with this. It, you know, it's kind of got its own unique 
flair to it. It's very, you know, soft, but at the same time, it's kind of got a little bit of edge to it. Had a great time making that project. Next, we have this truck console, a uh, center console cover. I did quite a few of these this year, maybe eight of them. Um, and this one was my favorite. I had a huge influx of console covers. I think like the most I've ever done in a year before was like two or three maybe. Uh, this year just took off. I did, like I said, seven or eight. And this one was my favorite out of the bunch. Um, I really like the color play and stuff. I got like four different shades of brown plus black. Um, I really kind of experimented with some cool color choices and color options that I'm definitely going to take into the new year. Then we have my buddy Andrew's wallet. I talked about this at length. There's a video of me making this. Uh, this is strictly on the list just because I think it's super cool. <laughs> and uh, I love my buddy Andrew. Um, he's been my friend for, I don't even know, 28,000 years. Um, <laughs> and I don't think he owns anything of mine. So that was really nice to uh, make him something. Then we have this uh, <laughs> duffel bag. This thing turned out so sick. This was another project that I uh, decided to start offering this year. I made it as a rope bag, but then when I started making them, people were like, oh, those are really cool, you know, traveling cases for men. You could like, use it as a briefcase or something or a suitcase. Um, this one was just, you know, one of those things where I didn't make them and then I made one and there I made a bunch of them. So this was my favorite one that I made for sure. We got that big bull skull, just like bam, right in your face. Then this wouldn't be a favorite project of the the year list without one of my favorite projects of all time. This was a fireman rig. Um, we have the radio case that goes with the strap that goes up and over the shoulder. This thing was absolute uh, insane to do. As you could tell, I went super hard with the roses and the skulls. I had a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff this year. It's really cool to kind of like start to put your own um, unique stamp on the leather game. And then you start kind of building a reputation to be the guy for that thing. And that's super cool that I'm like, the go-to guy for, you know, cool tough guy shit, skulls and roses and stuff. But yeah, that thing was a blast to make. I hate to say this because I made a lot of belts and a lot of people have my belts, but I think that this is my favorite belt I've ever made all time ever. Uh, this one with the roses and the hair on inlay, this thing just turned out really, really sweet. It's, you know, it's tough as an artist sometimes because sometimes you go like, oh, I just nailed this. How do I nail this more and more? And then it just becomes like this game of trying to chase you know, that, that feeling that you got of like, this is, <laughs> this is really cool. And I want to make something equally as cool. So it's like this, you chase this high of like, kind of like quality of your craftsmanship or your art. And next year I'm going to be chasing this belt down. Um, I know I'm going to do a ton of belts every year. I do a ton of belts and this upcoming year is going to hopefully be full of a ton of belts that look, uh, like this one. And then to finish my year off, it was one of my last projects of the year, but I made these shoes for my mom, which I really like how they turned out. They turned out really pretty and really delicate and really soft. I particularly like the um, flower that is on the, uh, the shoe on the right side. I really like how that flower turned out. I don't know, something about this just turned out really nice, really clean, um, really simple, and uh, rounded out the year on a high note. So, 2022 was a absolute roller coaster. Um, I can't even start to give a yearly recap. I was going to attempt that, and instead I was like, it's much easier to just uh, talk to the camera about <laughs> my favorite project. So I had a blast this year. I hope to just keep pushing my art and um, really just work on building relationships with uh, my customers and just continuing to grow as an artist and a uh, person with a small business. So there's a couple things this year that I'm really excited to work on, like uh, getting <clears throat> getting some new tools. I do want to just round out my uh, the tools I use and just get really nice ones. I've been um, accumulating the like Barry King stamps and nicer blades and things like that just to kind of help give my work that little extra polish that I think I need. Because in 2023, the main thing I'm going to work on as a craftsman is just working on uh, some polish and working on building relationships with customers and <clears throat> hopefully getting out there and, and meeting some new people and talking with some people is going to be really fun. And also to help, help me grow as a person. You know, the more people you talk to, the different, the more perspectives you get on the world. So I'm really excited for 2023. It's going to be a huge year for me um, trying to get money saved up for some big investments, hopefully. And um, I know there's gonna be not a lot of sleep, so. <laughs> 
welcome to the world of internet crafting. Thank you everybody who uh, watched any videos of mine this year. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm wiped out. I'm gonna take the next couple days of the year to absolutely do nothing because once January 1st, it's basically snapping back to reality. But um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys uh, like that. What project of those was your favorite? Leave it down in the comment, comment down below. <laughs> Leave all your hate comments down below too. That always helps the algorithm. Happy New Year. I'm out.